Hey guys, I want to continue while this is kind of fresh on my mind here on this issue of the quote-unquote rapture and the second coming after listening to this clip of Stephen Anderson. I want to play a little bit of him saying something and then go over. And I want to try to give like a diagram uh, to hopefully explain a little better. And you know, when I first started making videos, I taught things falsely because I fell for the futurism trap that is pretty popular and it can be easy to get led that way and a lot of things can seem convincing a lot of teachings and verses can seem to to say what futurism teaches but uh, since I've grown in the Lord and understood more figures of speech and context and just done more studying more considering and questioning things and going over things again and again I've changed my position, and so I'm no longer a futurist, but I'm not a preterist either, and it's kind of hard to explain my position, but I can say as far as the book of Revelation, I'm like an idealist. I believe it's all an allegory, it's symbolism, um, and hard to explain exactly so far, uh, you know, how I understand that, but as far as the rapture, you know, there is no rapture. It's all about the resurrection. Jesus taught the resurrection and the apostles taught the resurrection. And the resurrection is the resurrection of the individual believer, okay? Not um, some general resurrection in the future where everybody, you know, all believers will be resurrected at the same time. But individually, when a believer dies, they are resurrected. And so I want to play a little bit of Stephen Anderson saying this and then get into it, and hopefully it will help a little bit. Is that at the rapture he comes for his saints, and at the second coming, he comes with his saints. Wait a minute. It says that if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him at the rapture. So he's coming with his saints at the rapture. That's what the Bible says. I mean, they, they have all these cute things. Of <laughs> okay, so... I've said that I think that a lot of people get this wrong, and I did too. And so 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 14, it says, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. And so they think that there's going to be this moment when Jesus comes to, to get the believers, and all of the dead believers from before, all the dead saints, are going to be with him. Like they're they're coming with him. So like his entourage or something. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, let's just say this is just Jesus, whatever. And, uh, you know, he's coming down to rapture believers who are going to go up, right? This is the teaching of the rapture. So they're all going up, whatever. And, uh, you know, or, well, they would say that, you know, Jesus just appears, so he actually doesn't come here. The believers just come up to him so we won't say that he comes down but anyways but with him are, are all the dead saints okay they're all with him right okay so this is kind of the picture that people will get in their heads okay so you know we can say this is Jesus and this is very sloppy I understand but it's all right <laughs> So this is Jesus. These are, you know, the saints with him. Anyways, let's look at the verse again. Okay. It says, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them which sleep in Jesus God will bring with him. So they think at the rapture, the quote-unquote rapture, that the saints will come with Jesus. Okay, now, so I'm saying that this is false. This is, a, this is not what that verse is saying, okay? So let's just do a new one, and let's try to show what it really is saying here. Okay, so it says, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, okay, Jesus died... Okay, and he rose again, Jesus rose, then 
even so them also which sleep in Jesus. Okay, now, and we know sleep is a euphemism for death. And, um, you know, this is from man's perspective. Okay, so those uh, that have died, you know, in this realm, in this earthly life. Okay. Those are like gravestones. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. See, even so, them which sleep in Jesus, God will bring with him. That means be resurrected as well. Okay? So there's a parallel here, you see. It says, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them which are which sleep in Jesus, basically, who are dead, will God bring with him, will rise again. And so, I mean, and I've, I've pointed out a, um, maybe it's in the book of Hebrews, where the word bring or brought is kind of used in the same way. Uh, let's see here. Hmm, is that, yeah, maybe it's in Paul's Hebrews, no? Or it might be brought, which is kind of the same. Brought in Hebrews, what in the world? Okay, here's Hebrews. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus, brought again from the dead. Okay, speaking of the resurrection. So, if we believe that Jesus died and was resurrected, rose again, even so them which sleep in Jesus, who are dead, will God bring with him. Okay, um, meaning raise with Jesus, you know, um, they will be brought again from the dead, just like Jesus was. There's a parallel. So, I hope that, uh, that, that kind of helps clear things up there. God bless. <laughs>